Hey guys, welcome to Reddit Brew. You know the drill, we're back at it again with the Reddit stories. So let's jump into it, shall we? My half-sister wanted to show up in a wedding dress to my engagement party, so I changed the party theme so she would fit right in. My half-sister, Heather, and I never really got along. We're both 24. My father left my mother for her mother, and we were born the same month, 20 days apart. It's always been weird. It doesn't help that Heather's mom hates my mom and I, so by extension, Heather and I didn't have the best relationship. She has always tried to one-up me, even though we both have a similar economic background. Anyway, my fiance and I got engaged last month and had our engagement party this past Saturday. We had planned it originally as a semi-formal event. Nice dresses, but not I'm going to the Met Gala Ball nice, more like, we're going to a really good restaurant, nice. So, my cousin hits me up saying she has to show me something. It was a picture of the dress Heather was gonna wear. This dress, Jesus Christ, it can only be described as opulent. It was long and white, strapless with sewn-in crystals and gold accents. I'm pretty sure it's a wedding dress, but I can't be 100%. Edit. This is what the dress looked like approximately. It was a a bit shorter and a bit less puffy. The rest is almost identical. This made me really mad, so I decided, fuck that. I started texting people, telling them that there had been a change of plans, that instead of semi-formal, I decided to make it a costume party, a fun Halloween in June sort of thing. My mother's side is crazy for Halloween, so they were immediately on board. I told my father via text and asked for him to relay the message to Heather and her mother knowing full well that he would forget. He did. Saturday comes along, guests start showing up, most of them in costumes. Some didn't have time to get one, so we provided them with fun hats and cheap wigs. Heather, her mother, and my dad come like an hour late. As soon as Heather notices that everyone is either wearing elaborate costumes or weird accessories, and that she didn't stand out, she lost it. Especially when my fiance came along and told her that her bride slash prom dress looked amazing for a cheap costume. She left crying and her mother and my father told me that I was being childish and I could have just told Heather myself about the change of plans and not have tasked my father with it. Whatever. For those interested, my fiance was dressed as Bubbles and I was dressed as Mojo Jojo. My mom and aunts went as Abba. Other memorable costumes were Luffy and Zoro, Ian Malcolm and John. John Hammond, and Jesus. Edit. So, why did I invite her? It's one of those weird family situations where not inviting them would have been more dramatic. You know when you try pleasing everyone? Plus, I still wanted a relationship with my father. So, not inviting Heather and her mom would have made things super difficult and made it so my father would have had to choose. When I kept thinking of it, I noticed that my father wouldn't have chosen me in this scenario, which is why I ended up cutting them off. You let her win. No, the point of this is to ruin my half-sister's intention. She wasn't just dressed nicely, as some of you put it. She wore a wedding dress to my engagement party. I'd much rather subvert this whole mess rather than have her smugly sitting at the table with her in a wedding dress. Also, some of you are really hung up on the cheap wigs part and ignore literally everything else regarding the party. A minority of our guests were or those cheap wigs. Also, it literally doesn't matter. We had a blast. After she left, I didn't even think of her again till a few days later. I don't regret the costume party. I wish I thought of it earlier, to be honest. So, a 24-year-old left a party crying because she wasn't the center of attention, yet OP is the one being childish? Yeah, okay, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep, makes sense. I'm going to be honest, OP's dad kinda seems like spineless garbage that passes blame to avoid any responsibility. The fact that OP based the entire revenge off of knowing that her 
father was incapable of relaying a simple message that the party plans changed just goes to show what kind of person he is. Well, that and the fact that he knocked up two women in the same month. And I'm just going to take a stab in the dark, just like OP's dad did, and say that his lazy parenting is the reason that OP's half-sister turned out to be a spoiled brat. A give her whatever she wants to shut her up sort of situation. And don't get me wrong, I'm sure Heather's mom is to blame as well, but we only know the context of the father, and it's not great, so that's why I'm only ragging on him. But good revenge, OP. <laughs> My mother-in-law announced my pregnancy and secret marriage. My mother-in-law is toxic in a million ways, but given that I'm not in the mood to write a novel, I'll just focus on the lack of respect for privacy. My husband and I got married in private a few years back with plans to have a public wedding later. Only immediate family was invited to the small ceremony and they were all told to keep it a secret. My mill slipped up the day of the wedding and confessed that she had told all of her friends. When my husband and I got irritated about hearing that she told people, she then lied and said, said, no, I only told them it was an engagement dinner. We had been publicly engaged for two years at that point. Why would it be an engagement dinner? Years later, she finally confessed that she did indeed tell people about our marriage. Now I am 10 weeks pregnant and have only told immediate family. Mill initially agreed that she would keep it a secret, even said she was superstitious and wouldn't dream of saying anything until after the first trimester. Well, well, you guessed it, she has told her friends. She lied and told my husband that her friends overheard me talking about it at an event, which I know to be 1000% a lie. I don't talk about it in public. I haven't even had my first ultrasound yet, and she has spread news that isn't hers. The kicker is, is that she is now requesting permission to tell her distant relatives. Pretty sure she's already told them though. My husband told her that he's not comfortable with her telling people but redirected her to contacting me for permission. She has yet to call. My husband is acting like him telling her not to tell more people fixes the fact that she has already violated those boundaries. I want the fact that she's already told her friends addressed. I'm literally fuming. I know how it will go. She will hold tight to the lie that her friends overheard me and give a false apology based on that, not on blatantly ignoring our wishes. She is the Achilles in our marriage, and we just recently had a catastrophic fight involving her. How do I shut this down? I think to avoid this, OP and her husband, firstly, need to communicate better with each other. And secondly, stop telling Mill things. If there's information that you don't want anyone to know, don't tell Mill about it. She's proven to not be trusted. So take these instances and learn from them. Don't tell her shit. Also, OP needs to communicate her frustrations about Mill to her husband, because it seems like he could not care less about her antics. And it's never going to get better if her and her husband aren't on the same page. Resolution to irritating relatives start with resolution with the spouse who belongs to those relatives. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, that is all for me today. I hope you enjoyed these two Reddit stories. I think one was petty revenge and the other was just no mill. An interesting combo, but they kind of worked. Please leave a like and subscribe if you want. I truly appreciate when you do, and I will see you in the next Reddit story. Bye! Oh, look what the cat drew again. Look who the cat just dragged in. Herself! Do you want to say happy Friday? Oh. <laughs> Luna, say happy Friday to the people and have a good weekend. Oh, you're shy now? Say happy weekend. Come on. She's camera shy, I guess.